morning with a super simple ceviche prepared by Randy. LA, thank you. Ceviche, I feel like that's a bit of a summer staple. It's, it has to happen. It has to happen. Yes. It's it's super easy. It's incredibly fresh. I don't want to use the word lazy. <laughs> this is a lazy a little, dish. It's a little lazy, but, but you, it seems fancy. But on the other side, it's very expensive. Yes, it is. So it's kind of the thing in the culinary world. The more you spend on your ingredients, the less you should do to them. Oh, that makes sense. Right? Yes. So live scallops are in season right now. Yes. And live scallops are that treat, like as chefs, we get excited oh. about. We're yes. like, oh. Oh, memories. You, just, this you know is so what I mean? Good. <laughs> you, you were saying, Massimo, you sh we used to shuck how many yeah, pounds? I used to have to do 50 kilos every morning. 50 Ooh. kilos shucking yeah. scallops. And that was just scallops, so I could yeah. eat. <laughs> <laughs> like a seal. <laughs> so, that's good training. <laughs> so Devin's going to show us how to do it. You okay, take a look. So this a is a scallop shell. So, you know, we see it in the cartoons, the scallop shells, but they're yeah. really easy to shuck. You just kind of go around the outside, and inside, it's, so it's kind of like an oyster. Yeah. And it's going to have a little membrane there, and you just kind of work your way through there. And these are U10 scallops. They're also known as diver scallops. So, okay. the divers actually yeah. go down and hand pick these. Are they, so, they're, are they on yeah. the bigger oh. side? Wow. These are definitely on the larger oh. side. So, U10 would be that there's, there's under 10 per pound. Okay. If you go U20, there'd be 20 per pound. Yeah, really but that's there. just it. So it just comes out like that, and then basically you separate the scallop from the, the rest. Oh, that's what I was going to ask. So all of that work to get to that little guy in the middle. <laughs> little guy? That thing's huge. I mean, that big guy in the middle, right? but that's the point of There's you also, don't want to mess with that too much because it's already amazing. There's a lot of sand and grit in here, too, so you need to yeah. make sure you really rinse it off properly. Did you just put it in water? Yeah, yeah. a little bit of water. Rinse water. it off a little bit. And now you just, and how are you separating it? Just I'm using just your fingers? I'm just running my fingers along the skirt around here and we're just okay. going to separate it very That's carefully. So cool. And there are a few things in the culinary world where your fingers are the best tool and this would be a perfect example. Yeah, yeah this is it. Yeah. So then what we're going to do is we're just going to dress this up with the most simple things in the world but something fresh from the garden. Nice. So this morning I went out to my garden and I picked everything I possibly could. So Massimo's got some some zucchini flowers here. Nice. And some little, Amazing. look at this, tiny, tiny little <laughs> zucchinis. So Aww. the baby of baby this zucchinis. And we're just going to be like, what's going on? Little like mild Hi, flavor, baby. right? <laughs> we're also just going to take some like, you know, some of the herbs from the garden. So just even like parsley and we're going to like just kind of tear off the nice little stuff in there. Okay. And then, there you go, sir. Oh, right wow, here, right look at here. That. Give me that so, one. Can they eat it? No. Yeah, you can actually, just like that, <laughs> Not you can. Um, so what we're going to do is a ceviche is basically we're cooking it with lime juice. Yeah. So I've got some lime juice over here, but you take that scallop now and you slice it paper thin. I mean, not paper thin, you want a bit of a body to it, right? Mm -hmm. So maybe into four. And then if you're the kind of person that likes sushi and sashimi, oh, yes. you can go to the plate like this. Mm -hmm. And if you're the kind of person like, no, I kind of am a little uncomfortable about that, put it in some lime juice mm -hmm. and leave it in there for five minutes and the lime juice will cook this scallop in yeah. five minutes. You'll see this one's kind of like colored like this. It's already starting to cook. Okay. Right? Yep. And then all we're going to do is add some olive oil, right? And some salt and some pepper. Wow. Right? So this is it. This is when I said lazy. This is kind of lazy. We're being kind of lazy. You know what you yeah, could use? Yeah, but you dove in order to get the scallop. Well, I would, yeah, but somebody had to do some work, right? I don't, I don't know. You dove me. really deep to get that guy, and so don't worry. You, you can be kind, lazy now. You kind of want to use the shell because the shell is such a beautiful thing. So I just kind of cleaned pretty. these up. I threw them through the dishwasher. We're going to place them down like this. So now to finish the dish, it's really quite simple. We're going to take like three or four of these, put it in the shell, tile it up like that. The shell is so gorgeous. Isn't that it's gorgeous? It's really pretty. And I mean, this is a nice appetizer. This screams for, I don't know, maybe like some rosé, maybe some, mm -hmm. you I know, agree. Yes. some Sauvignon Blanc, Keep some talking. champagne. Uh -huh. Oh, here we there go. You go chef. So then, remember those little herbs I picked? So just like, yeah. just the babyness of them. And we're just gonna sprinkle that down on top because we really don't want to do anything else to it. Everything and fresh. And then little zucchini flowers like nice. this. And then look at these little baby zucchinis. What are you talking about? They're so, so cute. cute. And then once again, we just take a little olive oil. And just a drizzle. Yeah. And now you know what? Your guests are going to come and they're going to be like, I need to Instagram this. I'm going to go write my journal. I haven't done that in 10 <laughs> years. That dish was so fantastic. Put that so on the gram. Cityline.tv for this recipe. Fresh and not so lazy. It was good.